kuelekea siku 16 za maadhimisho ya kupinga ukatili wa kijinsia shirika la UNESCO chini ya mradi wa O3+ walianzisha shindano la uandishi wa insha na shindano hilo lilihusisha washiriki kutoka vyo vikuu na walikuwa ni zaidi ya washiriki 30 lakini walikuwa wanahitajika washindi watatu ambao wataenda kuiwakilisha taifa na mshindi wa kwanza na wa pili wametoka hapa ndani ya chuo kikuu cha Dodoma na wapo hapa nitaenda kuzungumza nao machache kuhusiana na ushindi wao kuhusiana na zoezi zima la ushiriki wa uandishi wa insha hiyo kushoto kwangu ni the winner ambaye yeye ndo mshindi lakini kulia kwangu yuko the first runner uh, mambo vipi poa naitwa nani naitwa bilunji na kitivo roger suboa ni mwanafunzi wa bachelor of commerce in finance Bilunji ongera kwa kuwa mshindi wa kwanza na kukiwakilisha choko cha Dodoma lakini pia kuiwakilisha Tanzania. Asante. Ah, wewe binafsi unajisikiaje kuwapiga chini wale washiriki wengine wote 30 na wewe kuibuka kidedea? Najisikia vizuri kwa kuwa nimeweza kuasilisha chuo changu chema vyema na pia nimeweza kuasilisha kile ambacho nimetaka kuasilisha kwa muda mrefu kwa jamii. Ni changamoto gani ambayo ulipitia sasa wakati unaanza kufanya hilo zoezi na kushiriki zoezi la uandishi wa insha? Um, ni pita changamoto za research kwa sababu tulikuwa tunatakiwa tuelezee tu tuonyeshe research mbalimbali ambazo tumefanya story mbalimbali mbali za ukatili wa kijinsia ambazo tumeweza kuzishuhudia au kuziona kwa hiyo pasa nianza kupiga simu nianza kutafuta materials kwa ajili ya kuweza kufanya vyema hii kazi Mm. Uh, tunasema kwamba wanawake ndo wanakuwa athirika wakubwa sana swala so zima la ukatili wa kijinsia lakini wanaume nao wanasimama wanasema hapana hata sisi wanaume tunafanyiwa ukatili wa kijinsia kwa utafiti wako ule ufanye ili swala unalionaje katika jamii ndio wanawake ndo ambao wanaathirika sana na swala zima la ukatili wa kijinsia ila ukisoma kwenye insha yangu nimeandika hata pia percentage ya wanaume ambao wana pitia swala zima ukatili wa kijinsia wapo sio kwamba wapo wapo kwa kiwango chao Mm -hmm. Sasa unamwambia nini wale wanafunzi ambao sio tu wa chuo cha Dodoma lakini wanafunzi kwa ujumla wale ambao fursa kama hizi za mashindano huwa zinajitokeza lakini wengi wao huwa wanaogopa kujaribu huwa wanaogopa kushiriki wewe kwa experience yako unawashauri nini Na washauri wasiogope hivi vitu ni swala tu ya kujiamini Hata mimi mwanzo nilikuwa naogopa kwamba sitaweza kwamba sababu ni kitu cha kanda cha nchi kwa hiyo nilikuwa na wasiwasi ya kwamba sitapita lakini nikapigia simu nikamwambia kwamba nimepita na nimeibuka mshindi wa kwanza. Kwa hiyo ni swala kujiamini, kuomba na pia kuandika kile ambacho kipo moyoni, kile ambacho umetaka kukiwasilisha ili watu wakisikie. Tutegemeni ni baada ya ushindi huu. Tutegemeni makubwa nitaendelea kuhamasisha wanafunzi wenzangu, nitaendelea kuhamasisha jamii kwa ujumla, nitaendelea ku create awareness juu ya swala zima ya ukatili wa kijinsia. Lakini pia niko na Abigail na yeye pia ni mmoja wa washiriki na ameibuka kuwa mshindi wa pili kutoka chuo kikuu cha Dodoma. Abigail mambo vipi? Poa. Ongera. Asante. How do you feel? I feel honestly great for this opportunity uh, given to me by UNESCO and everyone else who has this feeling inside their heart to communicate with the world and in your personal region over gender issues kuungana mkono pia na mradi wa O3 supporting UNESCO which is here at UDOM for this time I also would like to thank UDOM for having taken them in and not turning down the opportunity so as to give us a chance to be able to air out our ideas and speak our hearts to be able to let people know of the awareness of gender issues that are going around worldwide Uh, kwenye jamii ambazo tuko sisi sasa hivi vijana uh, swala zima la ukatili wa kijinsia imeonekana kuwa ni changamoto kubwa ambayo inawafesi watu wewe wakati unaandika insha wakati unashiriki una, una shindano la uandishi wa insha wakati wa ufanyaji wako utafiti ni changamoto gani ambazo lizipitia kule kwenye jamii ukaona hizi zinataka kunikwamisha kabisa mimi kwenye ushindi wa uandishi wa insha honestly as writing my poem I had to consider the fact that I'm addressing a lot of people and I had to also consider the fact that I'm mostly trying to address my community as well. So I tried my level best to be able to know how to use my words right, know how to use my language right to be able to address people without offenses. And personally, gender issues are there honestly because I have come across a lot of people in this case women who have been not able 
to uh, do certain activities in their life just because of the fear of being outside or being being raped or having these gender-based violations and not being able to step out there to due to the fear of embarrassment and rejection in mass so those are problems that are there in the community and that is what i also felt like i had to address honestly <laughs> Like you, like me, that's what I can say. I'm not a person to go out there. I'm not a person to participate in a lot of things. But honestly, for this opportunity that I've gotten, it was also a learning experience for me that you don't have to be scared to take a move and step forward because everybody wants success in this life and everybody wants people to know what's inside their head and to know what they've lived up for. And different qualities are not all going to be shown where you're going to be in a job that you're doing, but different qualities about you are going to be learned through the different varieties and activities that you engage yourselves in. It's not like somebody's going to ask me at work, like, do you write poems or something like that? No. But then due to my engagement in different activities and personal support from my friends, I have gotten this opportunity to move forward and push ahead. And honestly, it's God's grace. And I'd like to give a shout out to Vanessa because she's the one who also encouraged me. So also having good friends to be there to want your success is also very well. And you should stick to those people and always give as you take. Thank you very much, Abigail. Okay, thank you.